Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Well, I want to tell you about my Balaka Bayan box adventure. Uh, my friend John, uh, his channel is American Expat in the Philippines. I'll leave links below uh, to his channels. He, uh, when he moved to the Philippines, I had told him in a couple of his first videos, you know, that if he ever needed something shipped down there, I'd uh, I'd help him out. Just let me know. And, uh, you know, if he needed something that they didn't have, that uh, that I'd be happy to put it in a box and send it his way. Well, uh, we've talked about it two or three times, and uh, and finally he uh, he said that he had found online a place in Birmingham, Alabama, that was actually one of his favorite shipping companies, uh, LBC. And uh, I didn't know they existed. I figured to do this, I'd have to use just your standard, what we use here, um, go to... Uh, FedEx or UPS or whatever, and I figured the price would be through the through the ceiling for even the smallest package. But uh, but LBC evidently focuses on going to the Philippines. So uh, anyway, uh, so here's the story on getting the box. It's kind of funny. I, it's a there's a 904 number on the website, which is Jacksonville, Florida. I called it. <clears throat> And, uh, and didn't get an answer, so I left a message. This was like a Wednesday. Um, uh, so the, there was also an address on the uh, website, and I punched that into my GPS. I just took it upon myself Thursday uh, to just see if I couldn't ride by. I figured it'd be a storefront or something, you know. So I load up my follow the GPS to the, where it says the place is, and mm, it's just a vacant lot. Uh, the, you know, the, the address number is like 464 and there's like 329 and then 507 is the next address and it's just vacant lot in between. So I'm like, well, maybe this isn't going to work out. So I head on home and uh, I had Friday off. Uh, so I called that number uh, again, the 904 number that was listed on the website. And again, I didn't get an answer. Left a message, no call back. So uh, I do a little more research over the weekend and I find another website that's, uh, that's for LBC. And it's got a Cahaba Heights address on that one. And the same 904 uh, Jacksonville, Florida phone number. So that Monday I get to work and uh, I, uh, I, I, I take my break and I go ahead and I call that 904 number again, leave another message. And uh, they, uh, this time they call back. Uh, where was I? Microphone decided to play, mess with me. Uh, okay, so uh, the guy calls back and gives me a 205 phone number. Well, I uh, call the guy back, and uh, uh, well, I call the two hundred five number again. Get a uh, get a message, so I leave a message, and but the guy calls me back real quick, and uh, he uh, he tells me, you know, that uh, <clears throat> I'm like, is this address on this website correct? Because it was a Cahaba Heights uh, address, and he said, yeah, that's that's my home, you know, because I asked him, I said, is it a storefront or what? No, he said, that's that's my home, so. Anyway, I hop in the uh, truck after work. I tell him I'm going to go by about 5 o'clock when I get off work. And uh, I head that way. And uh, the uh, uh, it, Cahaba Heights is a little bit rough if in the wrong parts of it. But they were right off the main drag. and So it was, wasn't, wasn't bad. Uh, pull in and uh, the lady's there. And uh, I, uh, I get uh, get out. And it's a $10 deposit for the box, you know. Um, and uh, uh, she opens up this utility trailer, gets the boxes out. I, I get two of them. And uh, in the meantime, her daughter uh, raises up the garage door. And they've got a garage about the size of my workshop here. And I'd say it's a fourth, uh, maybe maybe a third full of these boxes just, just packed up and ready to go. So if I had to guess, what they do is they wait till they've got a truckload. And then they probably go down... To Jacksonville Florida and that's where it gets on the big boat to the Philippines uh, that's just my guess uh, hopefully when I get back uh, down there I can talk to her a little more and, and see exactly how this is gonna work but uh, but it's a 
big box, two foot by two foot, 18 inches deep. The weight doesn't matter. Uh, you can pack that thing with lead weights if you want to. Uh, it, uh, uh, he's supposed to be shipping some stuff to me, so you know I'm gonna uh, sort of document this little adventure of uh, getting this getting this to him. Uh, you know, so it uh, it ought to be a lot of fun. I, just getting the box itself was was a lot of fun. So uh, anyway, that uh, I, that was my Balaka Bay and box adventure. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, Lord, these Takis are addictive. Uh, I've done eight, three, uh, three bags of them, and of the six that I bought, and uh, I'm gonna have to buy more. Uh, got some mac and cheese going down there, some flour and such, or not, not exactly flour, but stuff that they can't get down there. Uh, so again, this ought to be fun. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Just getting the box was a blast. Uh, you know the price the price is cheap uh, 120 bucks to uh to get it well it's 110 to get to the first island and then 10 more bucks to get it on over to the next island which is closest to john so uh so it's gonna be 120 dollars and you get your 10 dollar deposit back so when time comes to ship it it won't be but 110 for for me to get it on the boat so i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a lot of fun so anyway buy like a bay and box isn't it fun to say Balakabayan box? <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. Jason, out.